Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to the campaign. Currently, it's July 1980, oh, sorry, 1891, and I have been able to ambush the British heavy cruisers, the Euryalis and the King Alfred, as well as the light cruiser Adelaide. This is done with a bunch of my newer ships. These are the new torpedo boats that I designed a few episodes ago. They are faster by about 10% relative to the old torpedo boats, but they're not as survivable, I think. Regardless, we're going to ambush a bunch of these boys and send them to the bottom. Now, the British have seven heavy cruisers, if I'm not mistaken, at this point. So that means that they're going to start seriously hurting for heavy cruisers as I kick down more of them. Uh, I want to go tight formation, tight formation. Oh, now we have all of them in a tight formation. Uh, west. Yep, these are the ships that can do 31 knots. So effectively, they're almost 20% faster. Whoa, you're close. Uh, detach all. Keep charging at the enemy. Or rather, the position where they're going to be by the time that you boys catch up. Because that's going to take a while. I know that their heavy cruisers are particularly poorly protected against torpedoes. They have few bulkheads. So I'm very much expecting that this entire ambush group is going to do very nicely against them. Let's increase speed to flank on all of them. Because I'm not really looking for our gunnery options. Ow. Don't do that. Charge of the light br brigade. Oi! Torpedoing is my part, not yours. Torpedo away on Urialis. Urialis detected it. But my torpedo boat, <laughs> at maximum speed though, might do worse when dodging torpedoes relative to the Urialis. Since their torpedo, or since their ship is so much slower and bulkier. Yeah, you're gonna get hit right in the rudder. That's fantastic, because that's going to make the attack of the 29 a lot easier. And then we'll have... Actually, 29 is going to go for the other cruiser. Urialis, two engines out and a rudder. It's almost seal clubbing against the AI. It's a bit sad. I would love for them to put up a bigger fight, but they are just... They're a bit of a pushover. Oh, crap. Narrowly dodged. Turn to port. Throw a torpedo in the face of the Urialis. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> I deserve that. Torpedo away on the Urialis. These have standard bulkheads, so the S26 might be dead. Dead. King Alfred, hit. 29 turn out. No, oh, the 26 might survive that, actually. Nah, she'll be fine. Standard bulkheads apparently are sufficient when you're dealing with a torpedo boat. It looks like the Adelaide is not quite capable of passing the King Alfred here. So that gives me options. The only thing is, she will launch a torpedo at me. Right about now. There it is. Flooding? Whoops! I'm sorry. Looks like you dropped something. Adelaide. Crippled. After, what, getting hit once? <laughs> <laughs> By the friendly heavy cruiser. Not so friendly now, though, is it? <laughs> These swarm attacks. I think they're hilarious. And they're so amazingly effective. Torpedo away, S10. You can duck out. She launched the torpedo against the Adelaide, which should be sufficient to finish off the Adelaide. 
The 20 is ready for another torpedo attack. Oh, the Adelaide was too slow. Okay, fine. 20, drop your torp. Target Adelaide. Come on. Thank you. Adelaide's going to be in trouble. Even more so. Look at how undaunted these guys just push in. What do you mean you got cruisers? We don't care about your cruisers. All we care about is hunting you down. And I think that these are still very, very cheap. Yeah, they're still 0.2 million. Whereas the cruisers that they're hunting down are 1.2. Substantially more. Now, I think that the S-30 is under torpedo attack from the King Alfred. Because the Alfred just launched a torpedo. Yep, there it is. Uh, she's probably going to try her port launcher, no, her starboard launcher next. So let's see if we can cripple her stern. Torpid if you can. Steady as she goes. Torpedo away from the 35. Torpedo away from the 34. The Alfred has nowhere to go. One torp, two torps, and she's done. So, that was amusing. Uh, that only leaves the Adelaide. And I need to get some other torpedo boats to come in here. Oh, the 26 is a bit damaged. She's the one that ate the torpedo, I think. 30, you got a torp. Make use of it. You got two torps, in fact. Hold on. Adelaide still has one torpedo that she can throw. She has flooding amidships, so if I can hit her in the bow or the stern, that could be sufficient to finish her off. She's still limping away. I don't think the smoke screen is going to save you particularly much. Launcher oriented the other way. Crap. Slow down. I need to give that torpedo launcher time to orient. More time. Fuck it. All back emergency. Who launched? You launched? No, 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 no. That's not how that works. I launch. You take torps. Oh, crap. No, I should be fine. Well, that was the hit on my torp. Ah! Why does my rudder not respond? Because I was in reverse? I still had momentum. That was what I was trying to get rid of. Crazy. Fine. Why is the Adelaide not actually taking damage? Torpedo away. How many torpedoes have you taken? Two torpedoes so far. I think that three. Still, she refuses to sink. Thirty. I want you out. Thirty-three. Just go in a holding pattern. Twenty-two is going to make an attack. Oh, she might succumb to that. Two percent. One percent. Torpedo when ready, because she's completely dead in the water. Nowhere to go. Torpedo will wait, and that should be the end of the Adelaide. She floods again. Down to 10%, 9%, 8%, 7%. 7%. She's taken 4 torpedoes for 5,000 points of damage. But she's still here. What the hell? 1% buoyancy.
At this point, basically, need to sneeze in their general direction to take them out. And because I'm in a, a circling pattern, I cannot really do much with the gun. I can probably, yeah, I can probably put her on fire. Because if I can't do anything else, I might just be able to overwhelm the damage control parties by setting more and more fires. As well as wait for the torpedo launcher from the 22 to come back online. She already has quite a few fires. She could, could get an extensive fire control problem. Or extensive fire damage, I think it is. The fires keep raging. 660 damage, which is still very insignificant compared to the torpedo attack. 14% buoyancy. Come on. Torpedo away. Once again, we're going to hit her amidships, where she's already flooded. Finally. So, that was a great little ambush. And with that, the Brits have lost two more heavy cruisers. I have not taken any losses. Yes, the S-30 took a bit of damage, but whatever. And now, they're down to five heavy cruisers. And 50 ships total. My power projection is still low at 601, but theirs is dropping. I think it was 1500, it's now 1245. We have another fight here between uh, two torpedo boats of mine against two light cruisers and five transports. Um, yeah, they still have a load of light cruisers. You know what? I'm going to auto resolve this, see what happens. Draw. Damages to the S18 and the S6. Okay. I probably would have won that if I played that myself. Now, I have the Braunschweig with four escorts working against the Galatea and a bunch of transports. I'm going to try and let the Galatea live and sink all their transports. Because I'm thinking that it doesn't quite work, as we've seen previous, if you just take out their transport. Or if you just take out their uh, light cruiser. So I want all of you in a tight formation. Oh, some of them can do 27, some of them can do 31. That's not great. Uh, the battleship Braunschweig is going to have to deal with the light cruiser and the torpedo boats is going to dash forward and ignore the cruiser as much as possible and hunt down the transports. Interestingly, there's a sink all enemy ships achievement or objective. Southwest, adjust course. The thing is, last time around I thought I had that. But it didn't quite pan out. Because that, um, that time I only hunt down the cruiser that was escorting them. But I didn't really get any shot at the transports. Surprisingly so. Because I was really expecting that I would just be able to hunt them down. Oh well. Ah, shit. You are not what I wanted to find with my torpedo boats. But it means that the transports are probably somewhere back there. And this thing is armed with a lot of those five inchers. Meaning that she is definitely dangerous to the torpedo boats. Crap. Okay, at least the enemy is west-southwest. Uh, detach you there, there, here, here. I'll do one torpedo attack with the S19 <clears throat> against the Galatea and hope that she takes so much engine damage that she's effectively out of the fight. Torpedo away. There's the transport. Shit. Oh, crap. No, that's a torpedo boat. 
Oh, I read it all wrong. These are not... Yeah, right. I'm thinking I'm hunting down transports, but I'm hunting down torpedo boats. There is a difference. Torpedo boats carry torpedoes. Transports do not. S24, S16. Let's get rid of the Galatea. At this point, I'm not really sure who presents the bigger threat. Whether that is the torpedo boat here or the light cruiser. Because arguably both are quite concerning. High explosive only. Galatea might have seen that threat. I don't know if she's going to respond to it. Target the recruit. Yeah, she's not going to respond. At least not in time. That ought to flood her out. Galatea sinks. I wonder if the recruit's going to try and torp me. I think she will. Let's try and torpedo the express. Although I am very susceptible to getting torpedoed. I should be fine. Oh, that was glorious. 10-inch high explosive hit. And? E yes, the express has been hit. Another two torpedoes targeted the S24. Both missed. Good work. That means that the express is a very easy target now. And toothless, effectively, because she cannot launch. She expended all of her ammunition against the 24. Fine, we'll dodge the other way. The 19 just launched her other torpedo against the Express. Secondaries on the Express. Boom. Done. Recruit isn't quite ready with the reload yet. Serious flooding. Torpedo away. I'm not concerned, I'm not convinced that she's going to die to that. But I think she is. Nope. It's this 2% nonsense again. Secondaries on the kangaroo. We'll have to hunt down the recruit. Another big fire. I think she might succumb to extensive fire. If not, her structural integrity is dropping so fast because of that fire. That she really does not have a lot of options but to abandon ship. I have to be concerned about the ability of the kangaroo to fire torpedoes on my way. Like that. The S-19 can hunt her down. But with guns only. Oh shit. I'm glad I caught that. Whew. Hit. Dead. Okay, carry on with the... Oh shit, you had another one. Carry on with the hunt. S-19, try to survive. No! 1% buoyancy. It's the torpedo boat magic. Disengage. Go to dry dock. Get the flex tape and start getting fixed. Just slap some flex tape on that. Look at that. From 1% back to 15%. Which effectively means that she increased her buoyancy by a factor of 15. In two minutes. If that. That is incredible. <laughs> that is spectacular. Alright, Kangaroo has some issues as she takes another 10-inch high explosive hit. 
This is the point where I would love to have more secondaries on this ship. Currently, I got these three inches firing as much as possible. But they're still a little limited in their effectiveness. So I have them... I effectively have four targeting forward. Of which two are only useful at the moment. What? Look at that. The ship's on fire. Just doesn't give two shits about it. Boom. More flooding. Rudder destroyed. Or at least damaged. Damage to main tower. Destroyed main tower is not good for your ability to control fires. You have a complement of 25? Mine are still 18 and 19. They put a lot of crew in these torpedo boats. Seriously, what part of the ship is that compart or that contingent of 16 guys on? Because it seems that the whole ship's on fire. Structural integrity dropping, 49, 48, 47. More flooding, very good. I'm trying to stay at about a kilometer or, well, one and a half away to not get torpedoed again. Highly uninterested. <laughs> we need to talk about your accuracy, sir. <laughs> Structural integrity to 32. Really, so far, I have not found any AI ship that really put up a fight. It saddens me to say so, but at normal difficulty, the AI is just a complete pushover. At least the way that the battles are fought currently. That you can just have these random encounters with smaller formations. Oh, fuck. Sorry about that. Um... My battleships barely take more than 30% or 40% structural damage, and that's only really when I'm not paying attention and I take a torpedo. Here, once again, 1% in holding. There we go, heavy flooding. It finally succumbed. So, that was interesting. Um, mistaking transports for torpedo boats. Or rather, the other way around. Nevertheless, victory points were gained. And where the British had 1145 naval control, they're now at 1145. Does it recalculate that at the end of the month? No, it doesn't. So apparently torpedo boats add nothing to power projection, even though I'm capable of harassing everything the size of a battleship and smaller than that. My fleet's still going to take, what, seven months? Six months to come out. And a lot of these smaller torpedo boats, well, some of them have died, but most of them are okay. Naval budget, 11 million, and I'm still gaining 340,000. Let's see, do we have another small fight? Ah, new torpedo size. Very good. I can get the 16-inch torpedo, which gives me 15% torpedo damage. That is very nice. I'm already looking to get better rangefinders. I kind of doubt that they're really going to come out anytime soon, because I don't even know what the discovery is. Uh, hull strengthening. The only thing that I can imagine is why I do not have the Battleship 3, is because my shipyards are still too small. Beyond that, I don't really know. Getting a, dis a destroyer is not going to happen anytime soon. Hull construction. Less ship construction time, okay. What else? Underwater protected deck. Okay, so that's the second layer. And we have emergency welding research. Plus 5% ship repairs. That's nice. Turret mechanisms, big, big guns in 58 months. <sighs> what if I do not give any priorities? There, 29 months. And if I do give this priority, 15 months. So it makes a ton of difference. Mines are still work in progress, so I think effectively most of this I can just ignore. 
The things that I would like are even bigger torpedoes or more torpedo launchers. I have deck torpedo tubes now? Oh, right, of course, for the torpedo boats, yes. And I can go with a faster torpedo propeller. Let's just give no priority and let everything slowly continue. All right, that'll be all for today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and soon the next episode will be following this one. I'll see you then.